Okay, so we're doing a feature today on something that's just happened um, the moment we're making this. I have the benefit of working ahead, so this will come up a little bit late, but uh, uh, I seen this and I thought, oh, well, I better get this before it gets sent to me 90 times, and I'm sure it will anyway. But uh, Machine Gun Kelly, MGK, just got all this black work done. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on this before I uh, get into my rather long rant about what I think? I mean, it looks nice. <clears throat> um, and he's always had tattoos. But I'm always a little like hesitant when uh, something like this becomes really mainstream. Um, mostly because uh, every idiot out there is now going to be getting a blackout. Um, and some of them are not prepared uh, for the consequences. I think that, like, MGK, he is already in the spotlight. He already deals with a bunch of weird shit, so I don't really think it's a huge deal that way. To me, the thing that really worries me is, uh, you know, Sue down the street that decides that she's going to get a blackout sleeve because her idol has one. And um, there's there's some negativity that comes along this with doing this to life. yourself. I worry for you. But <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to get into too much about what I think about this guy as a human being necessarily because I don't really feel like we ever really get to know anyway mm -hmm. so it's just kind of whatever image um, not only whatever image they want you to see but whatever image the media wants you to see of them whatever mm -hmm. direction they're being pulled in what this symbolizes to me is that his uh, PR or at least at the very least his uh, his outlook on his image he has chosen that now it's okay to do this. And uh, one of the big benefits that uh, being a private person or uh, um, I guess I'm straddling a weird place where I'm kind of a public person but still a private person is if I want a pink penis on my arm tomorrow, I can do that at no cost to me. You know what I mean? It won't hurt my brand or um, the people investing in me or the my audience uh, my audience's approval of me doesn't really matter as much financially to me as it will for him so what I see when I see this is much different than what 95 percent of people will see what I see when I see this is that culture has moved enough not he's moving culture because he's about to but it, it wouldn't happen he wouldn't be doing this move right now if if it weren't for folks like myself and others that have moved culture to this point. He can only do this now because of that. Oh, I agree with that, 100%. And uh, Kat Von D is another one where that happened at a point where it was ready to be acceptable, or at least mostly acceptable. What irritates me about these things is the gaggle of people that come along with it that have no respect for where it became, where it started, um, kind of who brought this out, and it, w it wasn't me either, but certainly I was closer to it than, than this. Um, you get a lot of people who have no respect for or understanding of the roots of things, and they will even make assumptions like people who have had these things done for far longer got them because of these incidents. Oh, I know. Now it's like, going to be, uh, oh, you got that. Thing. Yeah, you yeah. You'll, you'll have MGK? people, you'll have you people assuming that you got me? this because of this moron here. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and I, I don't know if he's a moron. I shouldn't say that. But, you know, I, I, don't, I don't love celebrity mm -hmm. at all. I don't love any kind of hero worship. I don't like it even for me. I think people who idolize me and the work that I've done are, are silly and that they, they can do their own. You know, I don't think hero worship is ever good. Um, but in cases like this, I do think that it's annoying for all kinds of reasons. Um, and I've got to get into the goods of this eventually. But up front is this will inspire a lot of people to do this. Who Which don't is my have, worry. <laughs> who don't have prior work or any idea of what it's like to heal large scale. And they also did more than I would recommend doing. And that's fine. This isn't going to heal perfectly. I can already tell you that. The no. person who did it does black work quite often, but typically 
more geometric, uh, you know, styles of black work, um, more ornamental, not nearly as much solid black from the gander I had at their profile. I have no doubt that they can do this work. Uh, rocks underscore underscore underscore, which is an artist I haven't seen a lot of, admittedly, but I'm sure more than capable of doing the work. But um, this isn't something that, for example, if you came in to this shop and asked for this, we're not doing this for you in one session. This shouldn't have been done in one session. Um, and not it, was, it was done, well, it can be done safely, but in most people's hands, it doesn't go well. Yeah. Most people who do this um, that aren't familiar with packing solid black every day, um, they're not going to do this well. And so there's going to be people fucked up as a consequence of this for sure, because this is not a walk in tattoo. No. The way it was portrayed is as if this came up overnight, and I guarantee you it didn't. Guarantee you there was planning here. Um, but the way that it presents is spur of the moment, um, this happens, and whole new man. Yeah. That's not how this goes. And it's portrayed as a fashionable thing, right? Like this isn't a lifestyle thing. This was a, I decided to do this today, mm -hmm. right? Whereas this is a, this isn't like buying a new fucking shirt. Like the, the caption is the new MGK. Oh really? It's like, like is that he's the caption? Seriously, like oh, he's rebranding and the whole new direction. These are those kinds of things that make me thankful that I've gone off in my own fucking weird position that I have, where even though I know what I'm doing now is going to be, you know, very trendy eventually when these guys start wanting to do things over top of their blackout, when the Kat Von D's of the world start embracing white on black and um, going through all that and people start crediting them for that work. Mm. Um, that will eventually happen, but I don't think it will ever happen in the same direction that what I've gone in. And I'm not trying to be elitist or hipster, but I don't want to be affiliated with this, personally. I don't. I don't want to. Because when, when I did my blackout, it truly was like, oh, this arm is fucked. Yeah. Like, that arm was fucked. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it after the blackout, but it was right. like it was the old piercer arm thing. I like, always, uh, I always like to like you know poke fun at you for this because I was when we met, I was always showing you black arms and being like, man, I, I think this looks so cool. I think this looks so cool, and you'd always be like, yeah, but you don't just get a black arm. You don't. You cover a <laughs> shitty tattoo, and you're like, you did. I would never do that. And you had like you had nicer work at the time. I have nice I had nicer work than most people have. Yes. Even then. Um and then and then <laughs> when you when you when you had made the decision to black out that arm because it got fucked up, um, I think, you know, that really well, uh, created a bit of an addiction and you know, the fun Well, the addiction was there, but the black was like the hard stuff. Yeah. Right? It was like going from like casual drug use to like hardcore drug addict uh, hardcore drug addiction. Right. I always say blackout is like if you like getting tattooed and you like being like in that kind of um, healing, recreation kind of mindset, it's it's like the next level drug. Mm -hmm. It's not like at no point to me that I think like, oh, this is going to be fashionable. No. But like when I, when I did the reaction to El Tattoo, the big uh, blackout bodybuilder guy, um, like he said in an interview that I watched that he figured black work was going to become incredibly popular. I think so too. I think it's aesthetic. Like, like, like it's, it is aesthetic, mm -hmm. but like, and it has been for years though. But the thing is, is like, like it's, it still has weight, mm -hmm. but this is weightless to me. I'm not trying to minimize. It's just the way that this whole thing is being portrayed and, and taken in by culture is like, Oh yeah, he's, he's, uh, you know, just doing this, like this cool aesthetic. It's like, it's supposed to be about more than that. Yeah. I'm, now, a, I'm a little, I don't know. I'm a little on the, on the fence. Cause like he does have like a lot of, uh, work underneath that. It's not about that though. Like to me, cause it's like, he would have done this already. Yeah. Like he's been around it long enough that it feels as if this is a delayed reaction. Oh well, yeah. I think because it, it's cool now, it was okay to do okay it. It's okay to do it now. Yes. It's okay. Because Kat Von D did it. Well, it's okay. And other, well, but she didn't do it from herself either. Like that Ronnie Radke guy who was literally inspired by my project oh, follows yeah. my Instagram pages. 
You know, it, it always starts somewhere smaller, and then. But he's not a big, a big fellow big, but, either. But it's but built. Canva, it's it, built it, it on built. the shoulders it, it of yeah. who came before you, um, is how that always goes. So now this will proliferate, and more will do this, and eventually it becomes like a Walmart brand T-shirt. I don't think we're gonna see very many more celebrities. Uh, of yeah, this. of course we will. Of, of this uh, uh yeah yes of course we I will. think we'll see musicians in general you'll see more of it yeah this doesn't know. just happen once this happen this will continue but the thing is is like most people don't like this stuff enough to deal with what it actually is like it, it's it's not for necessarily for everyone and that's not me being a gatekeeper it's just like you don't you still haven't finished your black arm it hurts <laughs> yeah, you still haven't finished it. This no. is not soft black and gray cats and tigers. How many people do we get send us their busted ass blackout sleeves oh, and they're the... afraid to do the second pass? Well, and like, well, it's all done. Meanwhile, you can see through the fucking we've thing. We've also had conversations with <laughs> people who have, well, at least I have, who've blacked out a limb and there's judgment from family and, well, and they don't know is. how to deal with that. Of course or there's there judgment is. from people and they weren't expecting it at all. It's because these people haven't been living with these like weird quirks and fucking strange things for very long and and then you jump into this pond and it's like well i did it because of this it's like it's inspiring people to go further which i do agree is good yeah but i feel like this is a, a big step for most people who have never taken the step yet that's why it, that's that's why uh <laughs> like as i said it kind of it's it's worrying to me like again uh, a guy like him, Kev on D, Ronnie Radke, I think that um, they, it all makes sense. They're all in the spotlight. Um, they're oh, all viewed by it people. It makes sense. But now there will be another celebrity will be like, oh, I guess it's okay. Now I can do that. Yeah. Because maybe like he's wanted to do this for a while, but it's like how many people are going to turn their backs on me versus what? when you do a move like this now, this portrays him as um, more popular or, or like more like cool yeah now, well, rather than less cool what worries me more is the uh the uh influx of 18 year olds that we're gonna have in the shop that have fresh skin um that are gonna be like I'm uh, black. but we won't do this like no, and, no, and I know, most but most most artists are going to say no to I'm doing this i'm speaking from like most shops though like this is this is people well, are any, going any to time, in any now. anytime any celebrity <laughs> gets a nose piercing more nose piercings come right this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. case with anything this is not something that you can do in a session though not not normally and this won't heal like this no no i know that's what it will heal me. well because the artist who did it there's a is good the infections and the and the and the oh man well already we're doing this like the way this photo was taken is it's not of a tattoo session it's a fashion shoot oh yeah you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't have this chain hanging on your fucking fresh tattoo otherwise. So this was done for fashion. Like let's be real here. This is this is a, a new almost like you're trying to attract a new market, right? I'm well, selling a new pro. It's just saying I'm super hardcore or it's whatever. It's dishonest, but I will say uh, the one thing that people pointed out right away is. Um, apparently he did this session without anesthetic, which is rare for celebrities. High I don't, five. But I'm not giving a high <laughs> five for any any of that because it's it's preposterous that we're now in a, a climate in this industry where it's assumed that they went under. Oh yeah. Like how the fuck did we get to that point? And how the fuck do we get away from it? Because that's fucking embarrassing. But anyway, like you've got another thing that I dislike about this is the fact that I even have to do this video because to be honest with you like while I think this is actually a decent looking tattoo um, it's somewhat like demanded that we all pay attention to this when meanwhile there are people doing black work all over the fucking planet every day I just had a session today mm -hmm. you think Ink Magazine is going to feature every time I take a shit I have two sessions every fucking week it's not that big a deal yeah oh yeah you know but for some reason when we're doing celebrities anything they do fucking magazine will usually post the worst tattoos ever as long as they're on celebrities we're far too focused on that and uh while i am a proponent of that right now with this video um i also feature guys like lucky joe you know the guy who had the sports bra of yeah. tribal you yeah. know because like to me that's the same fucking thing oh yeah 
Yeah. Like this is no more important than the bum who sends me a 3 a.m. photo. <laughs> but this will have a this will have a huge huge impact on the direction of tattoo culture, guaranteed. But it would have meant more to me if he had done this, say, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, than it does now when it's most certainly just. Well, they said it's okay to do it now, MJK. You know, like it's it's going to be good for your image, not bad for your image, which now I would argue is true. I think this will make him risque, and and it will be something for people to talk about. And his stock rises. Where if he had done this even a few years ago, it may have cost him something. And uh, I think that's probably the only reason why this didn't happen sooner.